Can and Bean Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with the five-time Mac Commonwealth champion, Paul Can and Bean. And, Coach, congratulations, first of all, on that championship. Let's talk a little bit about that game. You guys started a little bit slow offensively yeah. and defensively. What adjustments did you make to – right the wrongs in the first quarter. Well, I just thought early on we just were kind of uh, we just weren't kind of ready to play off the bat. I thought we made some really uh, silly mistakes, turned the ball over, kind of went to the goal a little too quick. We were a little impatient, and I thought as it went on, we got better. It was a 4-1 first quarter, but I like as the end of the quarter started, we started playing better, starting to get some opportunities, and we gave him a couple silly ones. You know, Chaz Collison misses an easy ground ball right by himself, and he flips it right to uh, 92, Cam Citrone, mm-hmm. so we got one off of that, and, uh, and then we had another one where we took um, a poor shot, and then they got a break off of it, and uh, got a goal. So, you know, I thought we were playing better towards the end of the quarter, and I thought the second and third quarters we did a great job. We held them scoreless for 34 minutes, outscored them 9 nothing during that period of time, and, and really got control of the game uh, towards the fourth quarter, and we were able to seal it away. And Ross Dynan dug in and became a wall for you guys back there. Yep. And eventually the tournament MVP. Talk a little bit about his performance. Well, he's really turned it on. You know, he went from a, you know playing kind of okay to really doing a great job. I think the way we kind of made some tweaks to his stance and how he's playing and, and also changed how we warmed him up, and that's really helped him. And we stay a lot more focused. And, and that's what you need to be now. Strong down the middle, a goalie getting hot at the right time, a face-off guy playing well like Justin Bernetti, giving us opportunities to win. You talk about that face-off guy. The team that you guys are going to be facing in Nazareth in the yep. uh, first round of the playoffs – they got a pretty good face-off guy. They do. They do. And he's done great. I think he's about 72% in the year, and he's done a great job. We saw him here at the Mustang Classic. and uh, But, you know, we got a good face-off guy, too. And he's faced a lot of great competition all year, and we'll see how he does, and we'll make our adjustments as we go. Justin's a tough kid. This kid's a strong kid. Justin's a strong kid. It'll be a great matchup, I think. Besides the face-off and being important, everything starts at the face-off. What is it going to take to beat Nazareth here at home? Well, we can't let them sit around and feed the ball. You know, a lot of their goals are assisted. I think they lead or one of the top three in the country in assisted goals. And you know, we got to do a great job pressuring them, not letting them be able to sit back and feed. We got to be great off the ball. Uh, you know, and we got to do a good job recognizing whether they're in zone or man to man and shoot the ball well. You know, I think if we do that, we'll be all right. Um, you know, we're a little bit bigger than they are, so hopefully our size will help us out. And uh, but you know, we got to be able to play smart, and not turn the ball over silly, and make sure that we. We really capitalize on our shots early on. Helps to have the defenseman of the year in uh, Don DeFazio there, too. <laughs> no doubt. Well, well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck on Wednesday, and we look forward to, to talking to you a lot this year. I hope so. We season. hope so. So we appreciate it. He's Paul Canabine. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Paul Canabine Show.